my pretties, it's Queen of Lions here. Now today we're back with episode 190 free of Shadows and Pretties. So we are going to be reviewing the sequel to Mamma Mia. Now this movie is also known as Here We Go Again, which is the sequel to the 2008 movie, Mamma Mia the Movie. I honestly was really surprised when I first saw this movie. Well, like this... The first one. Like, I mean, when I heard this sequel was coming out, I had to, you know, rewatch the first movie because I honestly couldn't re exactly remember if, um, I couldn't really remember for, you know, if I watched it as a kid or not. I might have watched the first one as a kid, but probably just didn't take any interest or remember. But I honestly really thought the sequel was good. I mean, the sequel is honestly a really good movie. Now, this came out 10 years after Mamma Mia, so I'm going to go ahead and do the sequel to it. So, I just kind of want to warn you right now to click off this video if you do not want any spoilers, as I'm going to be spoiling pretty much everything about this movie. So, yeah, I just kind of want to give a heads up, because if people don't want to hear it, I recommend click off this video, go watch another of my videos if you want to. So, this movie was an amazing, well-made movie and a great sequel to the first movie, which I really enjoyed it. It's a pretty good movie. It's got, it's got most of the cast crew members to come back to play as, you know, all the certain characters. Although, I definitely have to say, this movie is fantastic. I mean, it's... Pretty well made, especially with the whole concept of how it went out and stuff. So, with that being the case, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and explain what the plot of this movie is about in case for you guys who haven't seen the movie in a long time or for those who want a refresher and even those who have not seen the movie and don't care about spoilers. So, this takes place in a flashback to the year 19. 79, where a young Donna Sheridan graduates from Oxford's new college with Rosie and Tanya. This is also a musical like the first, like just like the first film, so there is a lot of great songs in there. Some new ones and even some of the old ones that came back. And there he had, and dreams of a geek, Greek island named Kalokori. Donna's mother Ruby is a famous singer but she has a well-strained relationship with her daughter and is constantly away on tour and does not attend the graduation. Fed up with her mother's consistent negligence and determined to spend her life making memories, Donna decides to travel to Kalakari to find her destiny. So then it flashed, passes forward to the present, five years after the events of the first film, Sophie is preparing for the grand reopening of the hotel Bella Donna in honor of her recently deceased mother. Harry and Bill are unable to attend due to overseas business ventures, and Sophie also feels estranged from Skye, who has been offered a part a permanent job in New York City. In Paris, Donna then meets up with the sweet but awkward Harry Bright, who instantly falls in love with her, so they spend the night together, but Donna leaves soon afterwards for Greece. She also misses her boat to Kalakari, but is offered a ride by Bill Anderson in his yacht. And the two dance and they flirt. However, on the way, they help a stranded fisherman, Alexo, back to shore in time to save his loved one, who is, mar who is having to marry another. Unbeknownst to Donna, Harry has followed her to Greece. And however, he arrives too late, which he sadly watches the boat sail off in the distance. So, excuse me, pardon me about that, I just had a burp. In the present, Rosie and Tana, Tanya then arrive to support Sophie as she shows them the new hotel. This mirrors the past to which Donna explores abandoned farmhouse that would eventually become a hotel. A heavy storm then breaks out, and Donna discovers a trapped horse and soothes it with the assistance of Sam. And in the present, the heavy storm destroys the decorations and, pre and prevents transportation to Kalakari, much to Sophie's dismay. Sam, who has been living in the cabin on the island, reassures Sophie that she can never let her mother down, telling her the story how he once let Donna down. Years ago, before Sophie was born, Donna and Sam were enjoying a whirlwind romance, 
But it ended badly when Donna found out Sam was engaged to another woman, Loran. Heartbroken, Donna breaks up with him and tearfully watches him leave the island. While present, Sam reassures Sophie of one of her mother's val for, value for her. So following Sam's departure, Donna is visited by Tanya and Rosie, who cheer up by singing with her as Donna and the Dianimos. So Bill returns to the island later and Donna joins him on the boat, much to the cargan of Rosie, who falls for Bill. So while they're gone, Sam returns Hearns as well, having ended his engagement for Donna, but is saddened to hear that he is with another she's with another man. Donna discovers that she is pregnant, but has no idea which of the recent lovers is the father. Bill's great aunt Sophia overhears Donna's wish to stay on the island, and she reveals the own abandonment farmhouse Donna has been staying at. Donna accepts her offer to stay here, and she eventually gives birth to Sophie. So, this movie has, like, a series of flashbacks, you know, stuff that's been taken from, you know, the past and the present. It's pretty interesting how this movie really does well with that, which I really find it amazing. Amazing job with it. However, in the present, Sophie opens up to Rosie and Tanya about their conflict with Skye, and Rosie explains to Sophia of how she and Bill broke up. Well, meanwhile, Bill, Harry, and Skye leave their adventures on the support for Sophie. But they're told that there are no boats on the on to Kalakari. However, much to Alexo, recognizes Bill and offers the trio a boat passage to the island as gratitude for saving his relationship. Bill convinces the others to join in the party at Kalakari. When the guests arrive, the dancing at Rive. Bill and Rosie quickly reunite over the mutual grief over Donna's death. Sophie reveals to Skye later that she's pregnant and that she's never felt closer to her mother. I was very surprised that, you know, it's revealed that Sophie is pregnant. I mean, you don't really see the pregnancy too, too much, like her showing, you know, her pregnant belly or something like that until near towards the end of the movie. Like, you'll get to see that. I mean, I'm gonna say right now if you watch the movie you'll understand where i'm coming from with this the celebration gets disrupted when ruby arrives despite sophie decided not to invite her ruby explains that sky has tracked her down in new york and that she wants to build a true relationship with her granddaughter sophie then performs with the dynamos in honor of Donya, much to the pride of ruby who expressed slight of since grief over her daughter's death it is later revealed that the hotel manager, Senor Fernando, though, is actually Ruby's long-lost lover from 1959, and the two joyously reunited. So this takes, so nine months later, Sophie has a baby boy named Donnie, and at the christening, Donna's spirit proudly watches over her daughter, and the two of them have one final moment before Donna fully passes on. The end credits show all the characters, including Donya, and the younger cast having a huge party at the Hotel Bella Donna, and that's how the movie ends. I mean, what a great movie. I mean, this honestly has a really good soundtrack. It's a really great sequel to the second movie, so I definitely gotta say right now, it's a really amazing movie. I mean, the development for it was announced in, for the movie was announced in 2017, with the release date of 2018 in July. So, Al Parker, who directed the first Mamma Mia movie, also directed this one. So, the filming also began in August of 2017 in Kuroda, Croatia, including the island of Vis, until, the, until October of 2017. The cast gathered at the Sephiroth studio at the Sephiroth, Shepperon's Tron Studios in Surrey, England, to film a song in that. So the filming was finished before Christmas of 2017. I honestly really like how the fact that this movie was a pretty damn good sequel. However, in June of 2020, Judy Kramer announced that the third film is in development, with the producers confirming some of the new songs for A B B A songs for the band's reunion could feature a soundtrack. However, unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, 
Unfortunately, that has caused with some delays of development for the project. So after months of postponement, they have released their new album, well, ABBA Voyage album in 2021. So we really don't know when the third film will actually come out. I mean, this is a good possibility that the movie might come out. Like, it might come out this year. Well, not this year, obviously, but I really don't know when the third movie will actually come out. Like, this is honestly giving us some, you know, basically clues. Like, I mean, the movie could come out maybe, I don't know, next year, the year after or something. But if they make a third movie and it does come out, what would the plot be about? Like, I mean... That's actually giving me some, you know, ideas of what could this movie be about if it were to come out. Like, what would it be about? Would it be about something good? Would it be something bad happening? What would it be? I mean, that's actually been one of the questions I've been asking myself when I heard rumors about a third movie coming into development. I mean, unfortunately, I can just say I can just keep on, you know, keeping you guys posted with the Mamma Mia third movie update, like, if I, you know, get any, you know, news article about it or something, maybe I'll give a discussion video about it, but I mean, it's a good movie, I mean, I recommend those who have seen the first movie to watch the sequel, if they haven't, I mean, this movie was, like, came out a few years ago, it's still an amazing movie, when I first watched it, I think it was on a video site. I can't remember what it was. It might have been Tubi, but I can't remember. But if I do see it again on a video site, I might remember what site I watched it on. And if it comes to my mind, I'll definitely, you know, state that maybe in the next video or something. Which I don't know when that will be. But if I do come across again, I'll definitely clarify that. So, I guess with that being said... I honestly really love this movie. It's enjoyable, well made. It's definitely amazing. I do like the fact that, you know, it's a great sequel to the first movie, which is amazing. Amazing and well made. I mean, when I saw this movie, I nearly flipped. Like, what I mean by flipped is, like, I got so excited, you would not believe how excited I was to see this movie. I mean, when I first watched it, it was flat out fan. Fantastic. I mean, I had to rewatch the first movie when this one came out because I couldn't exactly remember the first movie. I might have saw it when I was a kid, but I probably just didn't remember much from the first movie. So I had to rewatch the first movie. But when I was a kid when the first movie came out, so I might have saw it when I was a kid, but I probably wasn't really that interested in the movie at the time. But now I'm more interested in the movie now. I mean,. I really recommend for people who are fans of this movie, like the first one, to go watch the sequel. I mean, for those who are going to watch the sequel, believe me when I say this, you are not going to be disappointed. You will not be disappointed. You will definitely love this movie as much as I did. First one was good. This one was flat out amazing. Definitely well made. It's amazing. I really like that the character Sophie gets pregnant. Like, we, it's revealed that she's pregnant, but you don't really get to see the pregnancy, you know, glow. Like, that she has, seen that she has the baby, that her belly gets big, you know, that she starts showing. That's near towards the end of the movie. You do get to see that. But you don't, there's not really too much pregnancy dialogue in this movie, but it's near towards the end, which is amazing. But I really gotta say, I mean, I do like the fact that, you know... The character Sophie does have a great, um, great, you know, snapshots and scenery of when she was pregnant. It was obviously, I really loved that. I mean, I like the character Sophie. I honestly really like, um, the actress. She did a pretty good job playing as Sophie. She also played in the first Mamma Mia movie, which I think I will have to rewatch the first two movies because. I have not seen the these two in quite a while. I mean, I think I watched the second one maybe, I don't know, maybe a month ago. And then it probably just didn't come to me until I looked at this movie again. Now, like I said, this is just simply my own personal opinion on this movie. If you happen to disagree with me, that's perfectly okay. 
I'm respectful to your opinion. We're all entitled to our own opinions. Like, if you don't like this movie, that's fine. I completely respect your opinion. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea either. Just like when I say with the first movie, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. But, like I said, you guys can have your own thoughts and opinions on the movie. And I, I don't have any problem if you have your own opinion. You are free to state your own opinion. And that's that. I'm going to give this movie a definitely a 10 out of 10. It's a really enjoyable movie. It's a great sequel to the first one. It's definitely a lot of time and effort into it. And it does do really well. Just like the first movie. Even though I had to rewatch the first movie again. Because I think when I was a kid when it came out. I wasn't really that interested in the movie back then. But now that I rewatched it as an adult. I honestly still fall in love with this movie. It's pretty good. The character Sophie is really well done. Especially with the fact that she's pregnant. It actually was very well fitting with the scenery. Like... There were a couple scenes where, you know, you see um, Sophie pregnant. I mean, you don't get to see it really too much until near the end of the movie. But it still really is nice to see, you know, some scenes of her pregnant and that. It honestly, it's very well fitting. And it honestly really does a lot for this movie. It actually plays out pretty well with, you know, what the concept of this movie is about. Especially with the storyline. And I really do hope we get Mamma Mia free. But if we do get a third one, I will have to see what the movie would be about. Right now, we could just use my, our own imagination of what would have happened in the third movie. I mean, I hope it's going to be just as good as the first two were. But like I said, I'm not going to make any assumptions if the third one's going to be good or not. Because you never know. I mean, sometimes with movies that make too many sequels, some people may not find this movie enjoyable as the other ones. But... Like I said, that's your opinion, and I'm willing to respect your opinion as long as you're respectful to my opinion, which, I mean, most of you guys seem to do so, so I'm not worried about that. It's definitely a really fun, and it's definitely a well-made movie, so I recommend you guys go take a look at the movie if you haven't. So, I guess with that being the case, that being said, I'm going to sit here and just Wrap up this movie right now before I say anything, because, yeah. Like I'm just going to say, this is just simply my own personal opinion. And if you happen to disagree with me, that's perfectly fine, too. We're all entitled to our own opinions with these movies. If you want to state your own thoughts and opinions, you are perfectly free to do so. Doesn't matter if you like this movie, if you don't like it. I respect your own opinion, as I'm very respectful to everyone else's opinions as well. So I guess with that being said and with that being the case, I think I'm just going to sit here and just say this right now. What do you guys think of this movie? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Did you think it was good? Did you not think it was good? Feel free to leave me your thoughts in the comments below because I would like to personally think what you guys like to think, to say. You guys can state your own thoughts and opinions in the comments and I personally would want to know what your thoughts are on it. So... I guess that being the case, that being said, I'm the Queen of Lions. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. And if you're brand new here to this channel, be sure to feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Ring the bell for notifications to when I upload so that way you guys will not miss an upload. And to be fair and honest, if you guys like this movie, that's cool. If you don't like it, completely understandable. And I respect your opinion. So you are free to state your own thoughts and opinions down. Because, you know, everyone is different. Everybody's different with their own opinions. Well, since I've been going on for about almost 20 minutes now, I'm going to sit here and say, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace out. And like always, I'll see you all next time.